So Amy Peters is, she's hard to describe. Um, she's a driving force. She's so intentional with her instruction for her students. She has made an instant impact on this high school. But the most unique thing about Amy is she finds the best in all situations and she really puts every ounce of energy that she has into that. As you saw today in her classroom, her students are overjoyed, they love her. She has not met a challenge that she has said, oh, I can't do that, or that's unthinkable, or that's just unheard of. She is one that, um, when you go to her with ideas, she's gonna challenge your thinking. She's gonna give you some questions to come back with and think about, um, but also she's gonna be on the same team with you and making sure that kids get what they need. One of the biggest pieces that we've implemented here at the high school is educating our staff on some of the tools that are available to enhance um, student accessibility to materials. Specifically, we've trained them on the use of UPAR and Snap and Read to build some independence in our students and um, the accessibility to reading materials online. After we did the UPAR results, I had the opportunity to sit down with my inclusion 11th grade English students um, and discuss with them what it looks like for their comprehension level um, reading independently and then reading along with an auditory aid and discussed how that can support them um, on tests and just in general reading online. Um, it really gave them an opportunity to take ownership of that and start using the tool independently. Many students who are hesitant before to have a test read aloud because they were being pulled out of the classroom um, no longer had that stigma because they could use this tool independently without other students seeing them look any different and their comprehension scores on tests improved because of it. I had the opportunity to train our entire staff on some of the tools that um, we've implemented into the classroom and general ed teachers were very appreciative and excited to have a tool that no longer required someone to pull students out of a classroom to have things read or have uh, materials accessed. They could now implement these tools directly in their classroom, not benefiting just students with IEPs or on 504 plans, but all of the populations in their classrooms benefited from these tools. I believe it's important to build independence in our students and allowing them the opportunity to have access to educational materials in a variety of ways has really built that independence, not only into their classroom, but into their daily living skills. Students are using materials or accessing materials through tools that we've introduced that they previously uh, were unable to utilize. So students are having things read to them both in the classroom and outside of the classroom, building and developing that level of independence. Thank you again for joining us for Patents TV. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or at patentsproject.org. That's spelled P-A-T-I-N-S project.org.